Mike Pegg is here. I've been really, this is, I've been wanting to do this for a while. You know, one of the reasons Google is at the leading edge of web technology is due to the fact that their stuff is useful, simple, and they give it away. I think everybody could learn a little bit from this. It's a trend that's extending to so many other areas in the online world. It's the exact opposite of what we just talked about. Here is uh, Mike Pegg to show us how Google has made it possible to integrate your stuff with their maps, make what we call a mashup on your own web pages. They don't charge for it. It's absolutely free. It's all free. Uh, what is Google's percentage in this? Do they have ads or anything? Or? Well, ads are on the horizon. Um, they've, they've alluded to the fact that they may introduce ads to a mashup you build. Right. Um, with the, the latest release of what we'll call the API, which I'll explain in a moment, they've said that they'll, they'll give you a certain number of days' notice before they do right. it. At that point, so you can opt out yeah. yep, or uh, and, let it happen. And they get benefit because they get goodwill, they get their name out there. It certainly builds their business. Absolutely. And, and the advertising, whatever they do, it's, it's non-intrusive and it's intelligent, yeah. so it's relevant. Hey, if you look at so. Google's quarterly reports yep. a few months ago, clearly they're doing something right. In fact, they're actually worth more than the entire record industry combined. And there has been some thought that Google or Yahoo, both of which are, are on paper at least worth more than the recording industry, yep. which is by the recording industry. Interesting. And just change the whole business model right there. But anyway, that's that's a dream for another day. So, Mike, you do this, uh, you chronicle this on your map up, mashup blog, right? I do, yeah. yeah. Um, I track How many them. of these are they? Good are question. They? Uh, now. It's I, I think we're over a thousand good polished that's mashups. I, I actually did stop counting officially. You can't. <laughs> you can't keep up. No, you can't. And, and they've actually just released street maps for Europe recently. Uh -huh. So we're about to see another whole explosion of European uh, based mashups. So, it's good so what is the first step to making your own? Well, the first, the first step to making your own uh, would be if you want to go the, the route of, of, of coding it and building it yourself, uh, you have to register for an API key. Okay, mm -hmm. So API stands for Application Programmers Interface. And it's basically the the interface you need to get in and, and tweak the code of Google Maps. It's the rules you need to know for talking to Google with your own stuff. Yep, absolutely. Now, Google's taken maybe sort of a complicated concept and made it quite simple. You go they to the Google walk Maps. They through it here. They do, and they give you lots of sample now, code. Before we do this, we'll get our key, and that's free, yep. and it's a simple process. It you is just free. sign up, and they mail it to you and all that. Yep. Okay. And, and in fact, they don't even mail it to you. We'll, we'll do it right oh, now. They do it, oh, we can do it now. Yeah, we can do it right here. Sign up so, for the key. So, okay. Google Maps API page. Uh, Put Google Maps on your own website. Sign up for a Google Maps API key. We click on it. Um, gives you a bit of an overview about it. I did this when they, like over a year ago when they first came out with this. Yep. I haven't used it yet, but I guess now I have a reason to use it. To your advertising point, 90 days notice they'll give you on okay. the API blog before okay. they do it. So there's the terms of use. We've read it, of course, and we enter in our domain. And I'll just put mine in, gmapsdev.com. And then we generate the key. I bet you have a few keys. Look yeah. at that. Now, that's the key. Now, <laughs> oh. long and confusing, but don't be scared. They, what they've done is below it, they've given you an example web page to get started, and they've actually embedded the key right into it. Ah. Okay. So this is code that you would uh, paste into a website, and it would already be working. That's right. And then you could modify this to do what you wanted to do. Yep. Now, to, to make use of that, you need web space. You need to FTP the file up. And, and host so it. So what we're showing you really is only for people who have a website. But That's if right. you had a Google, uh, a blogger account, yep. or if a, a TypePad account, that would work, right? That's right, okay. yep. Now, once you upload that, you can add things like controls to it. They've, they've given a really good guide on how to um, uh, add, add some of that code. So the, the is basics... Is it done in HTML entirely, or is it PHP, or is it... It would actually be JavaScript. JavaScript. Yeah, okay. at the base, it's JavaScript. That's if, the, you wanted, if you want to do a programming language, that would be the one. That would be it. Really and then HTML, of course, just to put the map up. Wraps. Yeah. That sample code, there's the map right there. So it's it's basic. There's no map control. But you would modify the code to f make it first of all point to where you are, and then second of all, you could add some stuff controls. And Absolutely. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Now that's the we'll call it the manual route. Um, okay. Maybe a little bit more difficult for people that uh, don't know JavaScript, don't know how to program. Is that how the high end guys do it though? Yeah. Yeah. They're they're following this process. Any right. mashup you're using, they're doing this. Okay. Now there's an option for people that maybe aren't as comfortable. Um, there's a few of them out there. One that I'm going to show today is called Community Walk. They're meta um, mashups. They are, uh, we'll call them mashup creation tools. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the Community Walk is great. I, I like uh, Jared Kuslinch is the guy that's created this, and he's put a lot of thought into the user, user u, let me try it again, user <laughs> interface, yeah. UI for short. Um, so I'll, I'll just show you how this looks. You walk up to the site, register for an account. I've already got one. So I log into it. Okay. GMAPS Mania, of course, is your website, right? That's right. Yeah. Not now. Don't remember it on this machine. <laughs> Don't want Amber to be logging in as you. 
So we'll log in. I've, I've built a map, but what I'm, I'm just going to show you how quickly it is to actually build a, a Google Maps mashup for yourself. So we click, click on Create New Map, and it takes us into the, uh, the, the map tool itself. <clears throat> so automatically they've given you some categories, business, education, entertainment. We can modify like all that templates? later. Yeah, this is a template. Um, we can edit the settings, so we'll just quickly give it a, a title. We'll call it, uh, uh, let's call it My Band, My Band's World Tour. If I have so you a put all the places you're going to be. Yeah. As an example, put in a description. We'll just leave that blank for now. And we save and go to this map. So let's say, as an example, uh, we were going to play a show in, in uh, Paris. Mm. So we kind of, we, the good part about this is uh, they've made the left and right click zoom in, zoom out. So you just click once to zoom into it. And we're going to switch over to, if I'm not mistaken, it should be somewhere in this area right here. We're going to switch to satellite. And Paris should be right here. We're going to keep know France in. pretty well. You keep using France as an example. Are you? I was just there. You were just there. I was just I in was Paris. Say, yeah. yeah. So we'll zoom in. Maybe we're going to do a show right at the base of the Eiffel Tower. Oh and yeah. Here's maybe. a really cool satellite image too of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. So we've got the uh, Eiffel Tower here. And if we want to add add a, add a point, uh, we are just going to expand it a bit. And we're going to scroll down a bit, and we're going to add a marker by click. Okay. This is as easy as it is. You just click on where you want it to be. Boom, we want it right there. This is where the stage is going to be. That's right. Thank you, Paris. Thank you, Paris. And then we go, <laughs> Paris show. <laughs> now, if we have a picture or a website address of the show to buy tickets or something, we can put it in there. All of that would show in the balloon that you get yep. when you click on the little peg. Okay. Peg? Mike Peg? Nice one. I just, I just thought I'd throw that in. See if you caught that. So there, there we go. Um, we've got we've now got the Paris show. I've put in Peg as the description. If we have a picture, <laughs> we can add that. Uh -huh. um, so that when when we zoom out, that this is what it looks like. So we've oh, got, so we've got the uh, yeah. So that's we've just created our own Google Map mashup. Neato. We can add more information to that balloon. We can add more pins, more balloons, add photos. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually just quickly show you one that's already created. So I'll go into my maps, and I will click on to places I visited. And what I've done is I've just created a map of, of just various locations around the world that I've visited, and I've added some photos You're to on them. vacation, this would be great. Absolutely. Put all your photos in there. Look at that. So Colombo, Sri Lanka is an example. We Ooh, click on that. I'm jealous. And That's where got... Amber's parents are right now. Really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's a great place. I was only in Colombo, but I took a few pictures around the city, and, and you can actually just quickly add these pictures. And if you want to look at it, there's some great oh, Sri Lankan food. We can just click on that. Oh. And it enlarges the photo for you. So this is now a photo album. It is. You can showcase your travel photos. You can add pictures of any world location. And this will this could live on your site, or is it only going to live on their site? That's a great question. What you can do is you can uh, you can share this map by going into the settings of it. There's two things you can do. You can you can add a link to an exact location, mm -hmm. so you can zoom right into where you are and, mm -hmm. and share that, or you can actually post this entire map as a as an interactive map right on your blog or your website. <laughs> Amazing. So we can put this map on our blog. I'll give you a quick example of I one love here. this world. We only have a few seconds left, so okay. quick, quick would be the operative. This word. is the example of it being on someone's blog, uh, Community Walk's blog itself. And right in here, we are going to see it pop up. It takes a little while to load. There it is. And there it is. And you can actually interact with the it's map in on the, the map. site. Yeah. It's in the blog. A few lines of code, paste it, you're done. I'm just so happy about all this. <laughs> it's fun. It's so it's great. Very easy to, uh, and, to do. And if you want to know about all the cool stuff out there, over a thousand now, go to Mike Pegg's Google Maps Mashup blog, which is gmapsmania.com. gmapsmania.com! He's got maps yeah, like crazy! crazy. <laughs> to get all the links you saw, visit, visit our show notes. GoForHealthTV.com! Now, let's head over to the next text quiz question of the day. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. In what year were punch cards first used for programming? First used, 1725, 1833, 1901, or 1944? This is a tough one. Give us your answer. We'll talk about what Call for Health Stay here.